Hello Zedheads, welcome back, it's ZedTube and today we're going to have a little look into the forge. Find out what it does and how it will help you survive. So the first thing we need to do is find out how to make one. So basically uh, to get a forge you need to go into intellect, you need advanced engineering and you need to put one point into blacksmith. So it's a really simple thing to get. So at the beginning of the game all you need to do is do your starter challenges if you do those you will get four skill points so i'm going to do that very quickly we're going to run through these challenges get them done and then i'll be back in a minute all right cool so we've got the starter quest done and we should now have four skill points to spend so we're going to put a point into blacksmithing boom okay so now we know the recipe for the forge we're gonna make one. So what do we need? We need stone, we need clay, we need leather, we need duct tape, and we need short iron pipes. That's easy. Let's go and get that stuff. So we need stone. The easiest way to get stone is to find one of these outcrops here. So we'll collect this. Now we've got 50 stone, so now we need 60 clay. So easiest way to get clay is to make yourself a stone shovel. Bam. There we go. Now we need clay. The easiest way to get clay is to use a stone shovel and just dig some ground. Okay, so we've got 60 clay. We need 10 leather, 3 duct tape, and 3 iron pipes. Now, leather, the easiest place to get those from is from chairs and furniture. And the easiest place to get duct tape is from loot. So let's go and find that. Here we go. So these, these couches here, you can get leather from. They're quite easy to find. Uh, you can get leather from, obviously, from cars as well. You can also get leather from... Uh, animals if you kill a pig or a, uh, a dog or a bear you'll get leather from them 10 leather sweet so duct tape we need to find some duct tape so let's go searching three duct tape nice that's what we needed cool and we need some pipes the best way to get pipes is from toilets take this toilet apart we should get some pipes out of it Okay, there we go, we've got two pipes, we need one more. The other place you can get pipes from are sinks. So, we'll take this apart. There we go, last pipe. We've got everything we need now to make a forge, so craft that forge, and let's head back to uh, the base. Right, so there's the forge, and I'll put a storage in. Right, so here we are, we've got a uh, forge built. Um, didn't take us that long. Okay, so how do you use a forge? Well, the first thing you need is fuel. So the first thing you need to do is put some wood in your forge. Now you can uh, smelt down the different materials which you then use to craft things from the forge. So I'm going to put some iron and some clay on the forge and turn it on. So now you can see this is smelting the iron down into the forge and the clay is getting in there as well. As it smelts these things down you see it opens up these recipes. So these are now the things that you can make from the forge. So if I wanted to make forged iron, now I can make one forged iron at the moment. So one forged iron make, uh, costs 12 iron and 6 clay. As you can see you can make all these different things, there's all these different recipes that you can make in the forge. Like there's building materials, uh, weapons, you can make buckshot, bullet tips, ar uh, iron arrowheads, etc. You can make rocket tips eventually, but you do need um, the, the schematic for that. The other things that you can forge down are things like empty cans. You can just put an empty can in there, and that will also forge down into uh, into iron. You get five iron per can. There are tools that you can add to the forge. Now, there is the bellows, the um, anvil, and the crucible. Now these things, uh, you can craft them, you can craft them, but you need to find the recipe for them. Or if you're lucky, you can find them in loot, or you could go to the trader and try and buy it from the trader. However, to save some time, I've just brought them in using the creative menu. So this is the advanced bellows, and what this does if you put it in the forge, it increases the forge smelting speed by 50%, and the anvil, which increases the forge crafting speed by 50%. And the crucible it allows you to make forged steel. But it's much more of a mid to end game item. I mean, I've played games even up to day 50 where I've still not found a crucible. So they're quite hard to come by. The other thing to note about 
smelting things is that you actually get more for an item if you smelt it in the forge as is. So take this candlestick for example, if I scrap it I'm going to get 112, 112 brass, but if I put it in the forge that smelted down that brass candlestick to 150 brass. But on my tool belt that's only going to give me 112 brass. So you're obviously getting more brass to smelt it directly in the forge rather than scrapping it first in your tool belt. And exactly the same goes for the brass trophy and the uh, radiator etc. The other thing to say about the forge is that you can actually forge back out the materials that you put in if you wanted to. So for example uh, if you wanted to get some brass out of the forge you can just uh, select brass and then and there you go, you're getting brass out of the forge. So that was a really quick rundown on how to use the forge, what it does for you, and how it will help you survive in seven days to die. I hope you enjoyed that video. If you did, think about clicking the like button, leave me a comment, and don't forget to subscribe so you can watch more videos like this. Thank you and goodbye.